Hello everyone, this is Michael Cole reporting from Madison Square Garden where tomorrow will be the big event that will finally decide who will permanently own the world title and WWE as a whole. Michael Cole sucks! Both Vince McMahon and the Tin Man will partake in a contest to decide the owner of these two items. It will be a 5 on 5 single belt contest where the first to take home three victories is the winner. Not to be confused with the 1989 Eric Roberts movie Best of the Best, this is a completely different premise, even though it is virtually completely identical. You guys, you guys stole, stole the premise from Best, Best of the Best. Best! Both the Tin Man and Vince McMahon have had three weeks to find their five fighters. Now that they have, they have made their decisions public. Representing the dastardly team Tin Man will be Shelob, The Pencil, Seth Rollins, Starscream, and the team captain, the Tin Man himself, and their opponents from Team McMahon, Grandpa Ryan, The Mystery Fighter, Blinded Stephanie McMahon, Team Captain Roman Reigns, and of course, Eric Roberts, from the movie The Best of the Best. These two Down Syndrome teams will compete in the first ever Winslow Wars, being held exclusively at Madison Square Garden. But before the fight happened, we took time to talk to them personally about concerns of theirs and other stuff during a private interview with none other than your truly, Michael Cole. Ha! Ah, who wanna talk to you, fag face? Alright, if you don't mind, HP, I'm getting kinda tired of you interrupting my video here. Sorry, Michael Cole! Didn't mean to interrupt your video! Now, without further ado, here's an interview with our fighters in a little segment I like to call The Cole Files. <laughs> really? The Cole Files? Wow, well, you are a giant loser, you know that? Learning Vince McMahon's full roster of fighters, how do you feel your chances are coming into this event? I'll tell you the truth, Michael Cole. None of them worry me. Stephanie McMahon, Roman Reigns, my dad, the mystery fighter. The only one I have a slight concern about is Eric Roberts. He's the only one on that team that has done this thing before, not to mention fought through his match and won his match with a dislocated shoulder. This is the reason I chose Starscreen to fight him, because he's the one who is best likely on my team to dislocate his shoulder a second time and preferably kill him. You, you do realize the fights are made randomly and you can't just set your own fights, right? Oh, motherfucker! Michael Cole, my chances of winning this went from 50% to 100% when I picked up my phone and called a man named Eric Roberts. I watched that kid back in 1989 fight the Korean team and win his match with a dislocated fucking shoulder. You do realize those fights weren't real, it was part of a movie called Best of the Best. That movie, Michael Cole, was based off the Korean team being beaten in their own chink games by none other than the great martial arts master, Eric Roberts. I was just sitting there on the sidelines watching my good friend Tommy fight the man who killed his brother, and I was all injured and a little hazy, but I saw the look in Tommy's eyes, and I could tell he was going to kill him. This, this has nothing to do with my question, Eric. Tommy didn't care about winning or losing. He, he was just out for blood. This wasn't a fight anymore. It was war. I respect Eric Roberts' martial arts game and his great prestige, but keep in mind I'm a 30-ton fucking robot made of titanium. I think I can carry myself in a fight with him. Outside the ring, Starscream, there seems to be some tension with you and Rusev, him claiming on Twitter that you ended what seemed to be a loving engagement with his fiancée Lana. Listen, I can't help it if the Bulgarian Jew can't keep his girl satisfied. It's like the saying says, Michael, once a girl goes to Septicon, there simply is no moving on. Rusev, however, doesn't need to worry about that anymore. I squashed that relationship. What was the reason for the breakup, Starscream? No, no, I mean, I literally squashed it. I rolled over and crushed Lana while I was asleep. The worst part of the blood stains. I'm definitely gonna have to get new sheets when I get home. Fucking last time I bring a Russian chick home with me, that's for sure, Michael. It seems with all the tension between you and McMahon that an alliance of this sort seemed very unlikely. How did this come about? Well, I meant, thanks for Rocky at first, but then he caught me sneaking into his kitchen trying to steal golden grams, and after a small ten minute fight to the death, he kind of saw I was one another. 
Had that little fucker Gollum's head underneath my armpit raid pop it like a grape. Then we had ourselves a little combo, and eventually he agreed to fight for me in return for the payment of spiders. I'm sorry, did you say spiders? She, Michael, the key inspires is patience and diligence. You have to lure it in with the kindness of a mother pigeon into your mouth. And then when he's least expecting it, you pop that motherfucker with your gums. You saw him, this world wasn't made for pussies. If you're not ready, you're gonna get popped. Unless you're the alpha spider, then you will rise to the top of the kingdom and earn back Pride Rock. Oh my god, you're a monster. Says the faggot doesn't have spiders in his mouth. Seth, you being on the Tin Man's team is a question in itself, but what confuses me is your actions in the past press conference last week. Yeah, Michael Cole, I bet you would be confused. Stacks to me! <laughs> what a good one, Seth. Yes, yeah, so that was a good one, Seth, but the amount of arguing at last week's press conference was very troublesome. Um, Earth to Michael do Banana, you're supposed to argue with your enemies at the press conference. Yes, that is correct, Seth. You are supposed to be spending your time arguing with your opponents at the press conference. But for some reason, you argued with your teammates at the press conference. Particularly Starscream. They wasn't arguing. That was construct const constructive critic. It wasn't arguing, Michael Cole. I was minding my own business being a wonderful angel. People mistake my kindness for weakness, but in reality, I am a death machine ready to destroy. Team Nick Man doesn't know what they're walking into when I step into the ring. Oh, look at the giant black and fucking robot talk. I remember when I gave one of you guys when I was five years old on my birthday. I took one look at it, threw it in the toilet, and flushed that sucker. What? Well, you ain't fast scream. You got clam chowder in your ears or something? Let me put it in better words for you. Starscream is about as youthful as an Atari in 2016. What are you doing, Seth? We're on the same team, you fucking idiot. How's this for teamwork? How about you transform yourself into the Titanic and guide yourself into the middle of the ocean where you hit an iceberg and fucking die? Damn it, we're not on opposing teams, so stop picking a fight with me, you fucking metal reject. If I had a dollar for every time I thought you were a useless piece of crap, I'd be Mark Zuckerberg! I have a question for a star screen. Given the new rule implemented that fighters cannot transform into vehicles in the middle of their match, do you think you are at a disadvantage? Well, let's be honest here, there's no point in the match where I'm going to turn into a giant jet fighter. Hey, star screen, want some calcium? What? Hey, you know what they say, Starscream? No, you can't ever say with me. Oh, you're fucking dead, Rollins. Then let's tell you, big boy. Throw dare at Starscream, will you, you fucking piece of shit? Let's got the next question. Yeah, you get a lucky shot and good job, Starscream. When we fight at Winston Wars, he won't be so lucky. You realize, Seth, you're, you're not fighting at Winslow Wars. You guys are on the same team. You're, you're fighting on the same and side. And you realize I fucking hate you. Tommy, don't do it, Tommy. It's gonna kill him. It's gonna kill him, Tommy. Don't do it. Don't kill him. Tommy was a second away from committing the worst sin there is, killing an Asian man while being Asian. Eric, could you please at least try to answer one of my questions? Yes, Michael, I I'm sorry, I'll pull myself together now. Go ahead. Alright, thank you, Eric. It's been 30 years almost since you've last entered a tournament like this. What do you- Damn it, no! Don't do it, Tommy! Don't sink to this level, no! Don't do it! He's gonna kill him, Doc! He's gonna kill him, Tommy, no! Okay, I think we're good for today, Eric. Thank you. You see, Michael Cole, I'm not afraid of whoever I fight in the ring, because as long as I have my dad's love, I can do anything. It's funny you say that, because he doesn't seem to have any love or affection for you, just 
bitter resentment and hatred. Love is a tough thing for some people to express, Michael Cole, but deep down, I know that he cares about me. On his ninth birthday, I dug a hole in his birthday cake and filled it with two gallons of bleach. Told him if he didn't eat the whole thing, he'd receive no presents. <laughs>